What is happening YouTube? Bickbirds RS3 here. And I'd figure I'd give you a little bit of a review on it and what I actually got. So it is a 2018 Audi RS3, but it comes with the Daza motor, which was only from 2017 to 2018, which supposedly launches harder and sounds a little bit better um, on startups which I can show you in a little bit. And then, uh, I'm pretty sure it has the black optics package because everything's blacked out, but the grill, or the grill, but the emblems. But carbon, or uh, the mirror caps were black as well, but I uh, ordered some carbon fiber mirror caps for the S3 and they fit perfect. So I tossed those on. It's got the black spoiler, black tips, massive oval tips. No, it's an RS3. All right, uh, let's head inside and uh, show you what the interior looks like. Oh man, this is way up there. So yeah, as you can see, it's got the virtual cockpit, the digital dash. Uh, turn this light on. Yeah, you can't really see it too much. Oh, there we go. Um, so it has carbon fiber inlays everywhere on the interior. Which is fairly nice. Yeah, the S3 didn't have that. It was all silver. Um, I put a little carbon fiber um, accent on the vents just to make it match a little bit. Um, it has Alcantara steering wheel that I just cleaned up a little bit. Um, I still have to do this as you can see it's a little dull so yeah it has the backup cam and then it also has um, a feature that the 2019s and up don't have which is you can just put it down whenever you're driving it doesn't I can yeah it apparently after 2018 that button is no longer there you can't put that screen down um, but I can so ha 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 it's got uh, perforated seats. They look all right. They're really comfy compared to the S3s. Um, performance wise, to be honest, off the bat, it didn't feel as fast, as strong as the S3, even though, yeah, S3's tubed. But uh, fun, fun, fo fun little fact. Um, exhaust flappers, if you unhook those, you lose performance. Um, mine weren't unhooked. Yeah, I thought it was stuck. So I went and checked it. It's not stuck. It works fine. I actually had like a splice in the wire, a little bit of a short. So I had to like kind of follow the wire till I found it. But now it fucking ding runs great. It did 4.2 to start and then a 4.1 and then a 4.0 and then a 3.9 and then a 3.8. So it goes pretty good. Uh, I, I never really broke into the threes with the S3. I only had like two, two good draggy pulls that landed uh, into the threes. This thing's very consistent though. Um, let's pop the hood and uh, I'll show you what, what uh, what's going on in there. Show you the Daza. Because even though the 2.5 liter is in all the RS3s, they changed the engine code slightly. Uh, I can't remember where it says Daza. Anyways, there's the 2.5 liter turbo Daza engine. It's got carbon fiber all over it, which I think is sexy. It is bone stock right now. I don't even have mid pipes on it. So all the times that I say are stock, pure stock, not one bolt on. Um, I will be getting a CTS intake just for a little bit of some noise right now. As you can tell, I'm in a garage. I just bought a house. So I uh, just got to make sure everything's okay with that and then away I go with some bolt-ons 
I did get some new rims for it because these uh, Audi Sport package black optic rims or whatever you want, black rotor rims. Um, they're super heavy. They weigh like 56 pounds. And then I bought these bastards. And uh, they're only like 44 pounds with the tires. So great savings. But I recently drove 11 hours and I blew this tire. So I gotta see if I can get a warranty on that. But back to the RS3. So we'll get to it and we will do a little bit of a cold start. I'll let it warm up. Um, I'll do some uh, revs and then um, I'll pop open the <clears throat> healthy. Let's get the cold start going. See what this bad boy sounds like in a garage, in a closed garage. doesn't it? And it's stock. A little condensation. Warm start up. This thing sounds good. All right, hopefully that sounded just as awesome as it did for me, as it does for you. Um, this is my Audi RS3. And I fucking, I love it now. Um, it doesn't have carbon ceramic brakes, so I don't have to pay 10 grand to replace my brakes. Um, they are pretty expensive though. Same with a wheel bearing. So if you're looking for an RS, uh, maintenance is definitely an upgrade compared to the S3. So just keep that in mind for any upgrades you decide to do in the future. Anyways, so that's Bickford's RS3. I'm Bickford. This is my RS3. This is my new garage. Peace out.